You're so frustrated! Literally will anything go right? No, you go. No, you go. No, okay, I'll go. And my battery's dying. <laughs> like, oh, now the light wants to change. Okay. People are literally like, what is she doing? Can I do? I came to my gym. Don't I'm in athletic clothing, but I'm not here to work out. I think my mom actually canceled my membership because I wasn't going. So, hey haters, what's good? I'm back home, as you can tell. Brew. I have pre-filmed videos that I still want to post, but apparently you were missing the one-on-one -on -one connection that we've built here on this channel. Like, what's the best way to like just connect for a second? And I was like, a story time. However, oh my god. Today I have organic tea, sweet and Earl Grey tea, black orange, naturally flavored, no sugar, zero calories. Do I even want this? Is now the question. <laughs> Stop it. ASMR. Oh, honestly, she's kind of good. You guys want the tea? Okay, this is the tea. No one asked. This story time is about how I almost got kidnapped. Um, you know, really normal. Like, can I move this? You stupid. I'm on 99, 98.7% sure that I was almost kidnapped. Ooh. So basically at Colgate, we were under quarantine, obviously, like... Hide your kids, hide your wife. There's a global pandemic happening. Fair, fine. The way that my roommates and I got out were going on drives. Like we loved going on drives. We were like, you're hungry, go on a drive. You're depressed and anxious all the time and stressed and you have so much homework and it's building up and it's eating you alive and you just want to quit and give up and drop out of school, go on a drive. You are not okay. You get the point. And we go on night drives. So this one time, me, Allie, insert photo, and our friend, we were like, let's go on a night drive. Tea. Period. So we get on this drive, we're having the time of our lives, we're jamming, we're singing, we're talking. Yeah, get into it. Everything's good. Like, if you know Colgate, if some of you some of you don't, let me let me walk you through this. Like five minutes from like our main town, there's a golf course. You eat there, golf. I don't do that. We were passing this place. It's great food. I love, what do I get? The vegetable. No um, one asked. Pasta Primavera, so good, five stars. We saw a car coming towards us, but this car turns into the driveway and we're passing it like this. So they go in front of us, they turn around. And we're just driving like, eh, 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 like having our time, like it's late at night, we're like, whatever. There's no one in our town also. Our population's like 3,000, there's like 2,800 students. There's no one that lives in our town, except for 200 people. Sorry, I don't mean to diminish your existence. So this car turns around in the parking lot and now is behind us. So he was just coming from where we were going. We're just doing a loop back to our school. It's literally a large lake. It's just one street all the way around until there's like a little intersection that like breaks off or whatever. This is a small upstate New York town. There are long roads that go on for miles. So we're driving down and Allie's like, oh, this guy's like really on my body. That's weird. She was like, I would really stop and like stare at the stars because it was really dark out. But she was like, he's really on my butt, so I'm just going to keep going. We're driving. He's still behind us. Like he had two times to turn. Didn't turn. That's suspicious. We're like, chill. Whatever. It's fine. Even though he just came from this way. Even though he was literally just coming from this way, which we're trying to jam, but now we're a little nervous because we're like, this car's been behind us for like 15 minutes, like 16 minutes, whatever. Insert town right here. Once we get into the town, like it's going to be fine. Like he's going to turn left, right, or he can go straight and leave the town. Like he can go straight out of the town, but it's like there was really nowhere else for him to go. There was an instance where there was a deer also not surprising we were like oh stop for the deer wait we drove by he obviously stopped for the deer drove by kind of sped up to us and we're like okay it's fine he's not following us like that why would he follow us it's fine we keep going and we're like okay he's probably gonna turn right here doesn't turn right we're like okay cool it's now 20 minutes that this car has been behind us but there's no way he's following us. and now it's time to drop our friend off because our lovely yeah. drive that we wanted to have and now we're all like weirdly kind of suspicious but also trying to avoid the situation because we don't think he's following us but he also really might be following us but we didn't know what to do if he was following us 
like, we're gonna drop our friend off, right? I was like, wait, but like, I don't wanna drop her off and this guy be behind us so he knows where she lives. Let me set the scene for you guys. This is when I knew it was bad. She lives like off the street, like down the street, there's nothing. There's the athletic center, there's like the skating rink, and then there's the apartments that like students live in. Like there's just- There's nothing. We're like, okay, like let's turn down her street. Like we have to drop her off. We're like, you know what? We're gonna turn down the street and he's gonna go straight because he's gonna leave the town. Like wh why would he do a U-turn and see everything twice? Twice. We're driving down the street and we're like, okay, let's tr let's put our like blinkers on. And as soon as we put our blinkers on, we look back, they put their blinkers on. We're like, no. No way. No way this person has been following us for 23 minutes and the one turn that he wants to make is down this street, right? Like, random street. Then I'm like, no, y'all. We're going down. We're going down. He's following us. He's following us. He's following us. He's following us. We're all freaking out. We're freaking out. We're nervous. We're anxious. We don't know what to do. Do we keep driving? Do we let them follow us? Do we stop the car and then they come to collect us? What do we do? Who do we call? Who do we call? We had no answers. I was like, guys, like this car is 100% following us. Like we have to get it off of our trail. Like this is GTA. Was that GTA? Is that the game? This is some run for your life. Or he's gonna get you. I heard about this on Criminal Minds. Fun fact, an episode of Criminal Minds was filmed where my school is located. Yeah, so I was like, I gotta go, guys. I cannot be here. I'm terrified. He is going to take us and I do not know what to do after the fact. So I was like, quick decision. Fast decision. We're going down her street and she lives to the right. There's a little like side street that no one uses. Unless you're going to the athletic center and the athletic center was closed at 10 p.m. The ice skating rink is closed. There is no one using the tennis course. Everything is closed. There is no need to use this side street. It is a little, I will find a photo and insert this photo here. So I was like, guys, this is how we're gonna really know if he's following us. Allie, make a sharp left. Fast sharp left. It was like a split decision. Like we didn't use our blinkers. We didn't say anything. So they weren't notified that we were turning. So we turn and we're going down the street. We look back and this car comes to a complete stop. But he was going so fast that he was a little over like where the road was. And he just stops there and waits for us to go down the street. Waits. We're like, oh. Okay. He waits. Oh my God. Do we call 911? Do we call the campus safety? If we call them, they will not be here in time. We are done. We are three females. We are getting our butts what? in this car right now. Then I was like, okay. Gas it. Allie's driving. I'm like, Allie, foot on the gas. Guess what I see? I look back. Guess who's doing a little throat? He has to go like this to go down the same road, the side street that we are going on, that he's been following us for 25 minutes. <laughs> down the same street as us. I was like, I hate it here. Help me. Brain on, Ali. Foot on the gas. Gas it. I said, Ali, book it. Do not stop at the stop sign. Turn left. Run. We are going down the street, and this car is behind us, but they had to wait so we didn't see them turn down this street. By the time I was like, Ali, turn left here. They were so far, they couldn't see, and there was a tree in the way. We turned left, booked it down that street, turned left again, booked it through the light. I was like, Ali, do not stop at this light. Turn left again. So we... Essentially did just a circle because we're trying to drop our friend off. We're trying to not get kidnapped. We pass the street. Guess what we see? Guess what we just see? Guess what we see? Them driving down the street slowly driving down the street looking for us. Right. Make them away downtown. Looking for us. Just searching for us. Walking fast. They were literally following us for 30 minutes. Someone tell me that I really was not gonna get kidnapped. Someone tell me that. I literally saw my eyes flash. Wait. I saw my life flash before my eyes. I like don't get scared often. I don't watch horror movies. That's besides the point. But I don't get scared often. And I was scared. I was nervous. I was sweaty. Okay, Ali's like, oh my God, they know my license plate. They're looking for my car. They know what car I drive. Like, I just feel like a little embarrassed because I'm parked at a gym. Yeah, so we saw the car driving slowly down the street looking for us. T. At the end of that street, like 
all the way down at the end is a parking lot where you can like park your car. I had no idea. So I'm like playing these scenarios out. Were they gonna wait till we parked the car to like collect us? What was this, what was the plan? What was the, what was the plan? Now looking back on it. Still scary. It was 10 p.m. Like it was dark. That is a nice color car. It's not a dark green. It's like a vibrant-ish green. Not forest green. Not evergreen either. You don't care. Ali's like, I have to hide my car. And then we literally ran inside. Cause once again, like the town is so quiet. There aren't people like out. Especially in this time when we can't go out. It's like, where are we gonna be? And all the restaurants are closed. Like it is desolate. It is desolate. There is, there is no help. There's no help to be had to be called for. Stop it. We were very scared for our lives. I know that a lot of people are gonna be like, you're dramatic. The feelings that I had when that car was following us for maybe 30 minutes. Wasn't dramatic. I was scared. I was nervous. Oh my God, I completely forgot I had this. That's the tea. We don't know what the people are gonna do after they, you know, trapped yeah. us. We were hoping only good things um but guess we will never find out Hello? like why are you staring at me your dog has a literal shirt with a donut on it it's not a bagel or a donut wait where did the dog come from like was the dog in the gym too we got dogs working out sir not the dog looking at me i hope you enjoyed that story i i just wanted to let you guys know i'm still alive i'm still here i gotta go home stay safe kids um don't don't drive later and maybe like call someone you know like tell someone you're being followed because we didn't do that you stupid